here. I'm uh, giving guitar lessons, going to give you guys little pieces of what I'm uh, teaching some of my friends. And I'm uh, giving my buddy Bob Tawana guitar lessons again and working on his right and left hand technique to where the pick becomes an extension of the hand. Relax, you know. So have, you know, enough control, but also being light enough. And having really good tactile sense when you're picking. So that right there is an exercise that I'm going to give Bob and you guys if you want to strengthen everything about your musicianship, your picking feel, your timing, your attack, uh, all those things so that every note sounds clean and together and that way when you combine with other notes you're going to sound like you actually know what you're doing. <laughs> so uh, the first thing that I tell people is make a fist before you even grab the neck, make a fist, put your thumb between the first and second finger and then just open it up enough to where the fingers are still bent. As you can see, they're bent, you know, like the right angles to the fretboard and the thumb is going to follow me up and down the neck. So what we all tend to do is to, to lag by going and the thumb stays back here rather than shifting up with everything. So that's rule number one. Rule number two is to realize that this finger here, your pinky, has one muscle that's shared with another finger where every other finger has its own muscle that helps control it. So the pinky is definitely the weak link, as most of you know. Um, so I give my exercises out accordingly, and I work the pinky twice as hard or three times as hard. And I gave uh, my friend just a simple little exercise but to put it all together if you don't pick correctly in the first place in your learning it can be a little bit uh, uh, difficult so the next rule is to play in time so you want to play it in this lick in time and you want to play even and in a tempo that feels comfortable if you're making more than one or two mistakes you need to slow it down and always play these things in time. So no matter how slow it has to be, and here's the exercise, it goes like this. It goes pinky, third, pinky, second, pinky, first. Or I call them four, three, four, two, four, one. And it helps me get this pinky. Uh, you can even see it curves inward versus out like a lot of people when they're playing. Mine curves in because I've taught it to have exact pressure and this part of my pinky here, not the middle, is actually the part that's hitting the string. And you can see I can get a lot of strain. So here's the exercise again. In time, with feel, every note even, and work your way from the top of the neck down because the frets are closer together here as you work your way down if you don't have really strong hands yet you can can help yourself by doing the exercises this way so that as they move down the neck your fingers slowly spread out so here's the exercise four three four two four one i'm doing it in the middle of the neck exercises. The other one that helps strengthen the pinky, there's actually four different ones. It's the same exercise I just did, except you reverse it. So you can go one, four, two, four, three, four, and that way your pinky gets four times the amount of work as the other three fingers. So it would sound like this and look like this. you work to two strings so it might be something like this it might be And then 
the second exercise was, uh, well, I just did it. It's actually index, fourth, index, second, fourth, third, fourth. And I've got some other exercises too, but I guarantee you, if you guys do these things and you do the things that I tell you, put your thumb between your first and second finger, make a fist so that your fingers have kind of like a right angle to the neck, and then do these exercises slow enough to where you get them right and do it in time. So I'm going to do the whole neck so you can see um, what it looks like and, and kind of get an idea for where trouble spots come up, whether it's stamina or just plain uh, running out of gas. So, well, it's the same thing, I guess. So here's the one, four, two, four, three, four, and I'm going to go up and down the neck the way I used to do when I was practicing and getting my strength. So here we go. Let's, let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to go faster just so I can get through it and you can see. 